morning, everybody. We thank God for another Friday, another opportunity to uh, share His Word with uh, with you all. And uh, uh, let's uh, let's get right into it. Uh, in uh, our social distancing meditation today, we will uh, open our Bible in the Psalms, and we're going to look at the last Psalm and last verse in that Psalm. Psalm 150 verse 6 um, it says uh, that everything that breathe praise the Lord some version would say that everything that has breath praise the Lord we often hear the word the expression I should say praise the Lord if you go to church or you will hear the expression of uh, praise and worship so the word praise is a very integral uh, word in the church and a very important word to God because it is repeated a lot in the Bible, both in the Old and New Testament. Now, what does the word praise mean? See, praise is to express approval or admiration of co command, extol, uh, to offer grateful homage to God as in words or song. The other question that people usually ask is, how do you praise God? You can praise God directly by praying to him. However, you, you can also praise God in several other ways, including through music and art during group worship or by telling others about his glory. See, praise God, praise can be given in anywhere at any time. And as long as it comes from your heart, there is no wrong way to praise the Lord. Hebrews 13 verse 15 and 16 tells us, Therefore, through him, let us continually offer to God a sacrifice of praise that is the fruit of our uh, of our of lips that confess his name don't neglect to do that what is good and to share for God is pleased with such sacrifices brothers and sisters uh, true praise will not be confined in, in the four wall of the sanctuary when we can remember and think about what God has done for us in creation and through his work in redemption how can we not Praise God in, in, in with everything that we have. And this way, praise becomes a powerful response of the heart expressing joy, gratitude, and the desire for communion with our God. In addition to praising God with our songs and instrument in the sanctuary, we can praise God with a life of love and joy, with faith in Christ, with a spiritual hunger for the kingdom and his righteousness with devotion to god's word with love of god poured into our hearts by the holy spirit with the proclamation of the gospel and with the expectation of his imminent return see the bible often exhorts god's people to praise the lord the writers of the old testament use three basic words to call israel to praising god the word barak which can also be translated as blessed the word halal from which hallelujah meaning praise the lord comes from and the word yada sometimes translated as give thanks if we just take a look at the Old Testament, we can see that the, the, the Bible first song was after the Israelites has, had crossed the Red Sea. It was essentially a song of praise and thanksgiving to God. Moses later commanded the Israelites to praise God for his goodness in keeping his promise to them. We see Deborah's song is a call for the people of God to give him praise. David's desire to continue continually praise the Lord is recorded in the story of his life and the Psalms he wrote. There are countless of verses in the Old Testament that instructed God's people to praise him. 
See, the call to praise the Lord is all over the New Testament as well. Jesus clearly gives us the perfect example to follow when he praises Father in heaven in Matthew eleven twenty three and Luke ten twenty one. Paul teaches that all the redeemed are among the nations to praise God. And James made the same plea at the end, the picture that we see. Is that a vast multitude of both saints and angel praising God continually in the book of Revelation? Brothers and sisters, praising God is one of the main function of angels, and it is a privilege for me and you to be able to give praise to the Lord. See, God calls all nations to praise him. In other words, everything that is breathing is to shout out the praises of his name. If we don't do it, there are several references in the Bible where God calls inanimate objects, animals, and all kind of trees and all kind of living creatures and to give him praise. See, praising God can take place in several different ways. We, we ought to praise God with singing. One of the things that I notice here is that praising God is not a silent activity. There are so many different places in the Bible where it talks about praising God with all kinds of instruments. Can you imagine a bunch of instruments praising God? It will not be a silent activity. When we testify about the goodness of the Lord, that is a way of praising the Lord. Several of the writers of the Bible encourage us to praise God in the congregation of God's people and among the nations. And one of the best way that you and I can praise the Lord today is to live a life that is worthy of God's glory and a life that will bring glory and praise to his name. Jesus reminds us in Matthew 5, 16 and John 15, 18, if we let our light shine, People will see our good deed and give glory and praise to God. In similar fashion, Paul reminds us in Philippians 1.11 that a life filled with the fruit of righteousness praises God. Why do we praise God, my brothers and sisters? As if I didn't give you enough reason for all that I have said until now. See, one of the reason is because of God's splendor, glory, majesty, and beauty. The one that created the heavens and the earth. The one that created everything that exists. The one that when he speaks, all that we see and know came into being. We ought to praise God because of his mighty acts, in particular his acts of salvation and redemption is a key reason to praise his name because in doing so we are praising God for his unfailing love grace and mercy and finally we ought to praise God for his many blessings toward us whether it is a deliverance from the snare of the enemy deliverance from 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 sickness in our body his daily care for us physical or spiritual healing or sustain and sustenance, all those are more than enough reasons for us to wake up every morning and want to praise the Lord. Brothers and sisters, if you who are listening to me, if you wake up this morning and don't feel the need to give God praise, there could be a couple of reasons for that. The first one is probably because you have not made peace with God by accepting his son, Jesus Christ, as your Lord and Savior. You see, Jesus came into this world to pay the price for our sins. The Bible tells us without the shedding of blood, there won't be any remission for our sins. And so we, we, we see the picture in the Old Testament, the, the fact that people were using the blood of animals to pay for their sin and, 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 and they had to continue continually go and do that but today under the new covenant all we must do is accepting what Jesus Christ did on the cross once and for all and our sins will be washed away we are we will be forgiven and, and we will be accepted in the presence of God the Father as if we never sinned that is the righteousness that we can only get through Jesus Christ. The other reason, my brothers and sisters, is probably because you are not living a life that is pleasing to God. If I'm talking to you this morning, if I'm 
talking to somebody that is listening or watching this morning, the Lord wants you to know that you can repent and come back to him. If you never belong to him in the first place, you can just come to him today. He is waiting, arms open wide, waiting and ready to receive you back into the fold, to receive you into his kingdom by doing a simple prayer. The Bible teaches us the day that we call on the name of the Lord, we will be saved. Why don't you, why don't you call on him today? Because Jesus already paid the price for you. And he did it once and for all. He loves you so much that he gave his very best so that you and I could inherit something that we would never be able to get. But we can get it through the blood of Jesus Christ. The blood that never loses power. The blood that washes away sins. The blood that cleanses us so we could come into the presence of God the Father. Only then, only then you will recognize that God deserves all the praise that we can give to him. This morning, brothers and sisters, God wants us to enter a season of praising him, not just for what he has done, for, for which, are, which are many. Because if I would ask any one of you to testify of the goodness of God in your life or what he has done for you, I know you could go on and on. But this morning, God wants us to praise him for who he is, for who he is in your life, for who he is in my life. That's the reason he wants us to praise him today. Amen. Let's go to God in prayer. Father, we just thank you today. Thank you for your word, oh God. Father, we just praise you. We give you glory. We give you honor, oh God. We give you exaltation. We give you adoration. We give you, oh God, all that you deserve, oh God, because you are good, because you are great, because you are awesome, because, oh God, you have done great and mighty things in our life, because, Lord God, we could see your goodness every single day. We could see your faithfulness renews every single morning in our lives father father we thank you today thank you for your word thank you for that reminder lord god that we need to pray praise you oh god if we are breathing we need to praise you oh god father god we bless you today receive our worship receive our praise oh god father we thank you for this day be with each and every one of us oh god thank you for the reminder once again be with us today. Let everything that we do, oh God, give bring praise to give 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 glory to your name. Give bring praise to you, oh God. We thank you. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise today. Receive our worship. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you. Thank you for joining me once again. And and I pray that you were blessed by these words. And please share it with someone. And that we could use the encouragement that could uh, be reminded of something today. We pray that you will have a blessed, safe day under God's protection. May God be with you. May God blessing covers you today. In Jesus' name, I love you with the love of the Lord.